Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Trex. Well, you can call me Mike since you now see me. <laughs> um, I actually got this webcam because I wanted to do a little bit something different. Now, if you see the quality is a little bad and you see some jumping or anything, do understand this is my first time truly working with a webcam and trying to do something like this. Uh, nice little video log that I guess uh, um, saw other people doing that. I thought it would be pretty cool as well. But uh, normally, I was going to plan on doing this for doing like game reviews, uh, doing game news or anything, and uh, but a passion of mine that I've always wanted to do that I now have the power to do so is I get to talk about movies. And before I even talk about movies, yes, this is my bedroom. This is my girlfriend's technical bedroom. She helped design this a little bit. Ugh. I had no say so in this except for the mini fridge that has beer. <laughs> so yay beer! Yay! <laughs> oh shut up, phone. <laughs> Live performances. Woo woo. Uh but yes, this is Drex. And we're gonna talk about a movie news a little bit that's close to my heart a little bit. What this is going to entail is the fact that Michael Bay is a producer for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. That's coming out in 2013. You know what? A new TMNT movie? I can go with that. I love the three original live actions. Love the cartoon. Michelangelo. That's my name. That's my favorite turtle. That's where I got my obsession with pizza from. Thank you, childhood. Thank you, obesity. Thank you, obesity. <laughs> but I'm, I'm looking here. and I, I'm reading this and it hurts. My, it hurts. It really does. I've liked Michael Bay. I've actually enjoyed all of his films. I really have. I well, I worked at the movie theater. I've worked there for 11 years, and now, sadly, I'm not part of the industry anymore. And that hurts. It really does. But we're looking at... This is how I'm looking at it. I now have the ability to do this, so I'm going to. I liked his movies. Transformers, I, I was always there saying, Yo, this movie's badass. Great job great job but here's my issue now his idea for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is they're going to be aliens yes I'm I'm, I'm audible gasp audible gasp no. no no you can't do this you cannot I'm not saying you can't I'm just saying, don't. Please, don't. As a moviegoer, as a moviegoer, I'm telling you that I'm going to go see the movie. I'm going to pay my money and going to go see the movie. I am. Because I like seeing movies. I like doing, I like watching them. I like being enthralled with them. I like the stories. Now, Michael Bay is also, go is, uh, the script is being worked with the original creators. So, well, so, you got something there. He's working with the original creators. So, we're hopefully we're, we're hopefully looking at this as possibly a good thing. At least that's what we hope. That's what we hope. Now uh, I got this information from a buddy of mine who posted this on Facebook, and I we had an argument war for that. That wasn't really that was not a pretty argument for us whatsoever. But uh, but he but a little the link that he gave me was he he announced this at a Nickelodeon thing and. He told the he told the, T, the TMNT fans to chill out. I got a refrigerator. I got a fridge right back there. I am chill, but I'm still outraged. I am. Now, of course, the few five people that are gonna watch this, they're just gonna go. You know what? Whatever. Eh, it's just another guy speaking on YouTube. Who who cares? But I'm a TMNT person. I'm a fan. I'm not. I am a huge fan. I mean, I even saw the CGI movie as different, different as it was. I still enjoyed myself. I find the. I have to find the enjoyment somewhere in a movie. I there is a movie out there that I did not enjoy, that I really felt that just did not. It didn't fit me. And at the end of the movie, I actually asked myself, what the hell did I just watch? You have to ask yourself that, don't you? 
But let me go a little bit into this, all right? There are, as of updated today on March 21st, two of the original actors who did uh, Michelangelo and, yeah, who did Michelangelo and uh, another person as well, this has got their attention and let's just say they have dubbed this officially Turtle Gate. Turtle Gate. I want they need to go ahead and trademark that because that's just funny. That is really funny. So we got Turtle Gate now. We actually we have two of the actors who voiced the turtles in three of the nineties movies actually are against this. And you have some that are actually with it. Like the guy who did the voice of Leonardo and of course the woman who played April O'Neil in the movies. But at the same time, she works with Michael Bay on a couple of movies like I Am Number 4 and Armageddon. So, of course, she's like, hey, you give me a paycheck. I'm siding with you. <laughs> that's, that's how I'm going to That's how I'm gonna voice this. But how are you going to do this? It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm stress. I want to stress the mutant in there, not teenage alien ninja turtle. No, no. Aliens. At, I, I'm sorry. I'm looking at. Uh, I feel I'm gonna have to do a Hollywood rant. So prepare for a Hollywood rant. Hollywood. It's hard, isn't it? It is. I know it is. To come up with original material, to something that is going to sell at the box office. I mean, sadly, ticket price is like a ten bucks where I live. Ten, it's twenty in other places. It's hard. It's hard to make a living out there, especially when you have piracy all over the internet. I I do feel your pain, but when you're going to do remakes, you need to do remakes and you need to do them well. Now, Michael Bay is a director. He is a very fine director. He likes big explosions. They're ninjas. Ninjas don't explode. Ninjas don't do explosions, no. So remember that, Michael, please. Just saying. Again, I am a big fan of yours. I am. I liked your movies. I think The Island was underrated, and you did a fantastic job. And Bad Boys was always was also good. I mean, you got two black actors. Who's going to say no? Come on. But anyways, I digress. Teenage Alien Ninja Turtles is... N I just don't feel that's going to go with go with how it's going to go. Now, the script is in early development. I'm okay with that. The script's in early development. They're working with the original creators who did the show, who, who's, who knows the Turtles in and out. But as, as they've quoted, I think this was... Uh, Robbie Reese, who did, the Mike, who did the voice of Michelangelo, he actually says here, I know believing in mutated talking turtles is kind of silly to begin with, but I am supposed, to, but am I supposed to believe to, uh, am I supposed to be, I'm sorry, I'm horrible with, with reading. Am I supposed to be led to believe there are ninjas from another planet? The rape of our childhood memories continues. I'm also looking at you, the Thundercats movie that's supposed to be out somewhere. I'm looking at you. If you're still out there, do not mess up. You hear me? Do not. Do I believe this is going to rape our childhood memories? No. We have childhood memories. They're memories. I still remember the good old days. And I will continue to remember the good old days. Even if Tobey Maguire wants to do a Robotech movie live action. I'll hold my breath until I see it. I will hold my breath. Why? Because it's what they do. It's what Hollywood does. They need money. They found a way to do it. They're going to remake something. Woo -woo. I mean, Fox is turning around. They have to do another Fantastic Four movie. They lose a the license for it. And it goes to Marvel slash Disney. Or Disney slash Marvel. However they want to pronounce themselves. Point being... Teenage Alien Ninja Turtles is not going to be all that well. It's The idea so far is really far-fetched. Aliens in movies are overrated. 
Actually, I'm not even meaning overrated. I mean that they've been outdone. They are just, they're done. We're, we're tired of it. I am. I know you are. I know the view, the viewers, you, you, you there in the row, you there sitting in your chair, your computer chair, yeah, you, I know you're tired of aliens, you're tired of it, I am number four was an alien, that was a really badass alien by the way, the chick was really hot too, Avatar, alien movie, best alien movie, best, <laughs> I mean, and you got John Carter out right now. John Carter, which is just another badass alien movie. Come on. I believe that genetics, as scientific as, as scientifically advanced as we are right now, and especially how Hollywood can really just turn anything into it, I mean, you could, you could definitely do it. Genetics, make a turtle grow up to be human-like, be a teenager, a rat, a rat. He was the pet of a ninja master. I mean, the rat studied, studied his master, just living there in his little cage, eating all, gnawing all his cheese, gnawing all his little cheese. And he gets into the ooze too, and becomes booyah. He be, he becomes like this old sensei, master. Ah, oh, yes. Do you, do you see where my problem is, friends? Do you see it? Genetics. Go with the green news. Go with the green news. Go ahead and give me... Uh, what was it? Razor? Fucking dog? Excuse my French. The dog? The giant turtle? Huh? Tell me right now. Tell me. Is Shredder going to be an alien? Hmm? That, even, that, hurt, that hurts the foot ninjas! It hurts the foot ninjas. It does. Think about it. It's a ninja versus ninja thing. You can't put alien ninjas in here. Two things that don't belong together. Aliens, ninjas. Huh? I'm I'm more believable of robot ninjas. Huh? Come on. Please. Internet. Internet. I'm looking at you. I'm even looking at you. Oh, you're hey, you're pretty hot. Hey, how's it going? Uh -huh. I'm looking at you, please. I'm Michael Bay needs to be stopped. I'm just joking. Uh, I, I'm a, I'm joking. But teenage alien Ninja Turtles is not the way to go. It's not, and I believe that it's very rare I get political. And I mean, I have my voice. My voice is now going to be spread across YouTube on my channel. Thank you. Thank you, webcam. Thank you, internet. I'm looking at this, and I am for Turtle Gate. I really am. Now, I've, I mean, I've written stuff. Me and my ladies have, wrote, have written fan scripts and all that stuff. And, and I do believe that a director or even a writer, they can turn it. They can turn it into something different to give it a different spin on stories. That's why I like comic book movies. I'm not oh, I'm looking at an X-Men movie. I'm not wanting to watch a movie based watch a movie that was on a comic book. I'm not. That's boring to me. I've already read it. I don't want to see a movie of it. I don't hell, I don't want to see a motion graphic comic gra motion comic of it. Ugh. Ugh. Hate that stuff. But Alien Ninjas is not the way to go. It's That's how I feel, and I'm sticking to it. So, more power to Turtle Gate. Uh, I'm definitely in support of it. So, um, thank you all for watching, and I do apologize for the video quality. This is my first webcam I've ever owned because I'm not that kind of guy on the internet. But if you do want it, just leave a comment. I'll, I'll think about it. But thank you all for listening and thank you all for watching. Uh, and hey, you know what? I think I'm going to do more of these. I like this. I like using my webcam. I've got to get rid of this little... Cr the video quality looks, looks, looks really bad. I need more backlighting. I, I know what to do. And I'm working on it. So thank you all for listening and thank you all for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, favorite if you want. Spread this around. Let everyone know. Turtle Gate, it's happening. Alien ninjas, no. No. But 
I say again, I do like Michael Bay. I do like his movies. And, yeah, I will actually still probably sit down and watch this. Now, I'll probably see if one of my buddies can get me in for free or I'll just sneak in. You never know. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys.